one thing that will hurt you no matter how fast your database is and how fast your app server is, is the distance between them. Now, we often think of network in terms of bandwidth and we think of, you know, the size of the pipe being critical. But for database to app server interaction, really it's the latency, the speed of those interactions that is critical. And of course, that's governed by real world physics, speed of light, network routers, network switches, etc. There are limits to how fast you can simply pump data along a network. These queries I have on the screen, this could be my application now that goes and gets some customer details, then it looks up some customer orders, and then it looks up some order items. If I'm firing those SQLs across the network, it doesn't matter if they're bound and parsed and, and databases running them incredibly fast. I still have this issue of getting the data back and forth, a lot of hops back and forth across the network. Literally by taking those SQLs in most cases and putting begin and end around them, literally nothing more than that, I can get dramatic improvements because I can now make one trip across the network to the database, run the three commands and come back once. Let's do a little simple demo of that. So here is my little simple API. It's running those three queries I showed on the slide before, 10,000 times, I think. Yep, and it took seven seconds. And in doing so, I burned 170 centiseconds of DB CPU. So I did 10,000 queries. In fact, I did 30,000, 10,000 lots of three queries, and it took seven seconds. Now all I've done is wrap them in a begin and end. So I do one trip across the network, do the three queries, and come back with my three results. Let's run this one. Same example, see what we get. It's about twice as fast. And that's really important in terms of performance. But here's a key step I want to show you. Notice that the database CPU was lower. Now that's odd because I sent across a batch of SQLs. The database had to compile them as what we call an anonymous PL SQL block. So it's another layer inside the database. The database seemingly had to do more work and yet it actually burnt less CPU. That seems odd because the database looks like it's being asked to do more of the responsibility. You actually got more performance, but the key thing is you actually got less CPU on the database tier. And what does less CPU mean? It means less money. There actually is a CPU cost for the database to receive an incoming request. So the more times you send incoming requests to the database, the more CPU you burn. Conversely, the less time you do it, the better it is. Literally, if you can take some SQL statements and put begin and end around them, then it's just a very small jump to actually turn that into a genuine stored Oracle procedure. I'm not saying, as others would say, that you have to convert your entire application into a database-centric PL SQL-based facility. I'm saying take a couple of core components of your app, the critical performance parts, build little PL SQL procedures, and literally then call them like that. It makes your code smaller up in Java or wherever your 3GL is, and it makes them probably more maintainable as well because you can change them in the database tier. Those little small changes to PL SQL can get you dramatic performance benefits on your database. This is a quote from someone who joins our regular PL SQL webinars. They said, we had an application where you know, we just changed one thing to PL SQL. And all of a sudden people saw the benefits and a group of developers who had no PL SQL experience were all of a sudden going, what else can we convert? What else can we convert? You know, it's addictive seeing those performance gains and amazing the fact that you actually use less said database CPU to get them. So now we've gone from thousands of SQLs per second to thousands of business functions per second. We've jumped up a layer, but can we do better? I've shown very simple SQLs going back and forth, but obviously most SQLs we run often get results back sometimes in batch across the line. We have to get data across the wire. Your typical Java program might be show me a list of employees for a given say department. Your Java program looks a bit like this, execute the query, and then we loop around fetching and fetching and fetching and fetching. The way the database does that is it has to go get a block in memory, walk through that block and find the, the first row and give it back to you. Then the next fetch call comes over, we find that probably that same block in memory again, fetch the next appropriate row and send it back to you and so forth and so forth. All of those are lots of trips across the network, across the wire. A better strategy, in fact, I'll start the demo first, as this demo runs for a while, and we'll come back. A better strategy is letting the database know that you're getting a list of rows. I'm gonna fetch an employee list. The query looks exactly the same. The code in Java looks exactly the same. But I wanna, do, I wanna convey to the database that, by the way, I'm not getting one row. I'm gonna want lots and lots of rows. 
Once the database is told this, it can get the block in memory as before, but in that block, it can actually loop through all the matching rows it finds for your query in that block, and then give all the rows back to the client. It's not a one row per block operation. Then we find the next block, get a batch of rows, etc. How do we tell the database? How do we convey to the database that, yep, we just want to basically have a list of rows? It literally is a one line command. We set the fetch size. And if we go back to our demo, which hopefully is finished by now, you can see to fetch 500,000 rows one row at a time took about 28 seconds. Let's get 100 rows at a time. And the difference is breathtaking. Let's get 1,000 rows at a time. And now look at this. This, as I said, single thread, smallest cloud database I can get can give me 1.5 million rows per second just because I let the database know I want to get them in batches. It's breathtaking the performance you get.